<sighs> well, at this point, a win is a win. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's SEC matchup. As you had the LSU Tigers beating the Vanderbilt Commodores 24-17. Um, before I get into this video, man, for anyone, if you want to drop a, uh, donate to the channel and drop a dial on the Cash App, that information is down in the description box. Um, also, my social media information is down in the description box. Uh, also, I co-host a sports talk radio show every Sunday morning. That information is down in the description box. If you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification button, like the video, and share it with your folks. Uh, LSU gets the win 24-17. to um, In a game that, honestly, I don't think it was as close as the score indicated, LSU pretty much had control of this game. Uh, they fell behind 7-0. Vanderbilt hit us with a double move, and it worked. 60, so I think a 63-yard touchdown pass. They went up 7-0. And um, pretty much after that, man, LSU pretty much dominated the game. Um, Garrett Nussmeyer was good tonight, man. He was. Uh, I think he was like 27 to 33 or 36 or something like that. Uh, 330-something yards. A um, couple of touchdowns, no picks. Um, you know, uh, or one touchdown, no picks, whatever it was. Uh, he played well, man. Um. And like I said, for him, you know, including myself, anybody who follows the channel know, I was definitely ready to kick Nussmeyer out the door for Underwood. <laughs> like, I was ready for Underwood to start next year and Nussmeyer could go about his business. But now, maybe with Underwood flipping to Michigan, um, and Garrett Nussmeyer now knows that if he wants to come back, there's no pressure and, and, and the team is his. He's the guy. Maybe he could play a little freer. Maybe he could play stretch free and a little more loose. And um, you know, he played well tonight, man. He he did no turnovers. Um, I still want him to step up in the pocket a little more and use his legs a little bit. But um, you know, he was careful with the ball. He was efficient. Um, Josh Williams was really good tonight. This was by far his best game this season. Uh, he was just running over people, running through people. He ran like he had a purpose, you know, tonight. And um, shout out to him for that. Um, Kyron Lacy got in the end zone to like he still, you know, dropped the pass. And I still want him to be a little better. I understand they tried to get him a little more involved tonight than obviously the Florida game. And Aaron Anderson was good with the exception of a touchdown he probably should have had that went that uh he let go of. And then um, you know, defensively, man, they gave up. The, uh, the hitch and go early in the first Vanderbilt offensive play of the game. But after that, they tightened up. They did give up a fake punt, which led to a late touchdown to make the score look closer than what it really was. Um, but the defense stepped up, man. Uh, I know Pavia wasn't 100%, but they did a good job containing him. And uh, the corners did a decent job. I still think, man, not to rain on the young man, I still think, like, I think Gilbert's still probably the worst safety we've probably ever had, man. Like, he just constantly takes bad angles, yo. And he did it tonight on a pass, you know, that led to a and getting that last touchdown. Um, but, you know, we got the win, man. Like, when you on a three-game loser streak and you ain't won a football game in a month, uh, you take the win any way you could. And then this was not a typical, terrible Vanderbilt team. You know, this team is actually okay. And um, for us to get the win at home, when some people actually thought we would have lost, uh, it's good. It's good for the team, man, and the team morale. Um, now we get to finish with Oklahoma at home, which who I'm gonna get to in another video. But uh, overall, man, good to get the win. Um, you know, as we pick up the pieces from, you know, the whole Underwood situation. And one thing I did here tonight, the uh, the TV crew people, the sideline reporter said that Brian Kelly. He talked to Brian Kelly yesterday. And Brian Kelly said, you know, the kid going to Michigan is unfortunate and whatever. But, you know, with that NIL money we was giving him, we could spread that around to other people now. Like, we could spread it around to our current class or we could go get people in the transfer portal. And, you know, what? that was pleasant to hear. You know, we're going to see what actually happens. But that was pleasant to hear that we're not going to just sit back and cry ourselves to sleep. You know, maybe we ain't going to get that one prize player, but we're going to get – three or four really good players to help fill out the roster even better. 
Um, because one thing, man, I noticed, like, this defense need more speed, yo. I think the coaching defensively is there. I just think we need most more players with more athleticism and more speed, you know, and it explains the Milro thing um, against Alabama because, for one, you got safeties that constantly take bad angles. And for two, when, when a guy like Milro hits a seam, nobody could catch him. You know, nobody got that athleticism or the speed to get in front of him or to catch him when he break through through the second level. So um, that's something to me that's becoming very, very evident of this defense is that, you know, next year we got to have more speed out there, you know, um, on the on the on the back end, man, in the secondary and at the linebacker position. Because like I said, I think I think I believe in Baker. I think Baker is a good defensive coordinator. I mean, hell, he better be. He's the highest paid defensive coordinator in the country. So, um, you know, but get the win tonight, man. Um, finish strong, beating Oklahoma at home, and then beat win your bowl game. And we could go into the offseason with some optimism, yo. Especially if now our, our favorite quarterback now, Garrett Nussbaier, comes back, man. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have LSU, NCAA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.